What's up guys? What's going on? It is your boy Bernardo and what's spool sv.exe? Explain in less than five minutes. So let's get started. So basically spool sv.exe is this little guy right here that's constantly running behind the scenes within your Windows operating system. So what is it? Uh, it's the spooler subsystem application aka the print spooler is a process which is a normal part of windows that handles printing and faxing jobs when you print something the print job is sent to the print spooler to process it before it actually sends it out to the printer to print it out now if the printer is offline the print spooler will keep it held until it's actually online and it will shoot out the print job the process is needed to print and fax anything within your windows operating system now the print spooler cpu usage now it should not use a lot of cpu resources the cpu resources will be used when you're printing and this is normal if the cpu is high it could be the following issues the job being sent is too big to process. The print queue is full and it can't print the jobs. Print drivers are out of date or the print drivers are just basically corrupted or the printer is misconfigured. Now, can you disable it? Well, there's no real reason to actually disable this process within your Windows operating system, even though Windows gives you the access to disable it. But every time you need to print or fax, you need to enable that process for it to work correctly. If not, it won't go through. Now, is it a virus? Again, this process is normal within your Windows operating system. In some cases, malware can disguise itself as the spool sv.exe file and basically check your task manager to see if you have multiple spool sv processes running in the background. If you do, Stop everything and just scan your machine for viruses or malware. The real spool SV executable file is actually located within your system 32 path. If you're a person like me that loves to navigate within your Windows operating system, if you do see the spool SV executable file located somewhere else that's not within the Windows 32 path, make sure you stop everything that you're doing and scan your machine for viruses or malware. And that's it guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this quick video of what spool sv.exe running behind the scenes in less than five minutes. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.